Hey, should you watch Leakerous Recoil? Gunfights, bad guys, Yuri. Hello people, Secret Senpai here, and each anime season, if you've been around on the channel, then you know that I almost watch every show that's airing. Recently in my weekly anime recaps where I discuss moments and predictions on anime airing during the season, someone asked me about my thoughts on Leakerous Recoil. Thus, this very video answering the question, should you watch Leakerous Recoil? For those who don't know, Leakerous Recoil is an anime airing during the current summer 2022 anime season as one of the two anime airing on what I like to call A1 Saturdays, since Engage Kiss, another anime airing by A1 Pictures, airs on that same day. In Leakers Recoil, orphan high school girls work in an all-female organization of assassins and spies known as Leakers, who are dispatched to eliminate criminals and terrorists in Tokyo with the goal of making society appear to be a safest type of environment. In this storyline, we follow Nishikigi Chisato, an easygoing and cheerful young girl who is considered the strongest Leakers, but works at a branch of the organization separate from DA. In contrast to Chisato, Inui Takina, another Leakers who works directly at DA, is assigned to work with her. Notice how I say, worked. Due to a certain incident during a mission in the first episode, she's basically fired from the DA, which leads to her having to work with Chisato. At this point in time, the first four, or I guess now five episodes of the anime have aired. And like most anime, the first few episodes are usually dedicated to getting acquainted with our main cast, learning objectives or reoccurring themes relating to the plot, an idea of the environment or world we are in, and overall story direction. And in Leaker's Recoil, we get just that. But what stands out within those first few episodes that make it worth a watch in my opinion are mainly the dynamic and growing relationship between the characters. Like I said before, Chisato is a cheerful and easygoing person. In every scene, she's showing a smile, joking around, showing mercy towards her enemies, and overall having a good time while also keeping the mission in mind. However, because this side of her is usually being shown, it just adds more mystery to her. Like, why does she choose not to shoot with live ammo? What inspired her upbeat persona? How did she gain the title of the strongest Leakeress? Some answers we actually get in the first few episodes, but other information is sprinkled here and there making her more intriguing, but I'm mainly looking forward to eventually getting a backstory episode in the near future. Takina, on the other hand, emanates a more serious by the book's persona in contrast to Chisato, following orders without question while also focusing primarily on the mission rather than those around her. We've seen it in other anime, movies, or stories where two contrasting personalities team up or the buddy cop-like trope where throughout the storyline we see the contrasting ideologies between two characters, and over time they learn something from each other that impacts them, and may even change the way they do some things or their outlook on life. With Leakers Recoil, though we know our relationship or interaction is what's to be expected between Shisato and Takina, we dive a bit deeper into this as Shisato tries to break barriers surrounding Takina with not just her words, but also her actions. If you heard of the saying, action speaks louder than words, then Shisato emanates this, as with every fight scene or even daily patrols, we see how it somehow impacts Takina. Speaking of fight scenes, whoa! Now that they're super flashy or have big power up sequences, rather I find it enjoyable to watch a shootout with people shooting guns. I feel like with so many shonen and even with the growth of isekai and fancy anime, fight scenes with guns or shootouts, etc., are more of a rare sight. Or maybe it's because I just don't watch a lot of action anime. Regardless, personally seeing an anime that's not magic based is, in a way, refreshing. Not to mention, Chisato is just a badass. Other than Chisato and Takina, other characters we meet in the first few episodes are also cool, though not given as much screen time. Well, since they aren't the main characters, we do get a quick understanding of what they're like and how they have some importance to the story. For the production crew of this anime, it's directed by Adachi Shingo, who has a long list resume of character designs and key animation, with this actually being the first anime he's solely directing. The character design of the series is by Imigi Moru. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Which I knew the style of Leakers Recoil looked familiar because they're also the original creator of the manga This Art Club Has a Problem. You might see some similarities. The voice acting cast consists of Anzai Chika, who voices Chisato, also known for voicing Kosaka Reina from Sound Euphonium, and Wakayama Shion, who voices Takina, known for voicing Minami Yume from SSSS Dinazenon. Looking back on everything I've said so far, I realize I haven't really said anything that I have problems with in the anime, mainly because I've been enjoying it. 
So far the pacing with the storyline has been consistent, and like I said before, the characters are what I think make it most entertaining. If anything, though the main conflict of the storyline has been sprinkled here and there, I believe some upcoming episodes will shed more light on it, as within the latest episode I saw, episode 4, we get to meet a major antagonist of the series. At least I think they're going to be major antagonists. Overall, if you're looking for a girl shooting guns, a nice interaction between characters and some subtle Yuri vibes, and a plotline that follows a secret agent-like group to try and keep the peace while also seeming shady themselves, then Leakers Recall is an anime you might enjoy. Anyways, this is my somewhat review. I don't know if this is a review video or I guess it's a type of review video on Leakers Recall, the first couple episodes. I was trying to make it as spoiler free as I could for those who haven't seen the show. Um, just haven't watched it yet, so that they might find something intriguing about it. Some key elements in there are plots, plots in there that plot points somewhat that may pique your interest in it, may show that you may like it, maybe not like it. I mean, that's what the title of the video is. Should you watch it? Will you like it? Will you not like it? Um, so yeah, um, at the time, I'm recording this literally before episode 5 airs, so if some things happen in episode 5 that I don't mention in this video or have reference in this video, then that's the case. Um, I'll probably have this up right after I record episode 5, so yeah, in between up, in between, I'm recording um, Engage Kiss, so yeah, um, let me know what y'all thought about this, let me know how y'all enjoying this type of video if you want to see more of these. I'm currently working on one for Engage Kiss and some other anime airing for this season, so yeah, let me know which anime you'd like to see me review next or talk about next in the comments. Um, and by the end of the season, I do plan actually doing like a thorough and more in-depth review on the whole um, storyline of Leakers Recoil and other anime like that as well. Um, I've been writing out scripts and stuff more earlier than I did last season. So, yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say. Um, again, thank you for tuning in and let me know what you thought about this and what your thoughts are on Leakers Recoil so far. Uh, let's see if the anime gets consistent and keeps it going and doesn't end up falling downhill. Um... But yeah, I think it's going to end out pretty well um, from what I've seen so far. And I hope it's, it does remain consistent. So yeah, again, thank you for tuning in. You know, leave a comment below. And I'll see y'all later for some more content on the channel. <laughs> so yeah, peace and out.